All right, people. So uh, we have a rumored list. Uh, we have a rumored list that was apparent, apparently was rumored at the uh, WCQ for uh, national, for, you know, the United States. And uh, we're just gonna go over this list. And hey, if it's the real list, then okay. But we're gonna go over this list. We're gonna talk about it and uh, give my opinions of it. So uh, just to prevent any spoilers, I'm just gonna go down the list and uh, be prepared. So. Uh, starting off, we have band cards, and uh, we actually have a couple. So starting off, we have, mm, do we, yes, well, we have a wallet chain, but we have Blaze Phoenix. So uh, I predicted that this card was going to be limited to one, but, you know, if I want to go ahead and ban it, I guess. Of course, you guys know Blaze Phoenix, so it was just interactions with Noden, uh, creating FTKs, OTKs, unhealthy for the game. Uh, so no surprise there if they want to go ahead and bla ban Blaze Phoenix. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that, you know. Uh, it's not a card that I'm making any money off of, and literally it's just a Saki card. And, you know, when it comes to Saki cards and loops, Konami is, you know, no far from hitting just cards that do that shit. Uh, next, we have Lavalo Chain. Yeah, Lavalo Chain. I mean, I guess, you know, Lavalo Chain has always been a powerful card, but I never really thought of it as a card that's banned worthy. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess this will prevent you from doing your whole, uh, your whole Noden, I mean, not Noden plays, your whole, uh, Jijin plays, because, you know, the Volvo Chain, I don't know. If they really wanted to do it, they could probably just throw a tour guide in there. They can go tour guide, summon, you know, uh, uh, the Jijin Xing something detached there. It's in the graveyard, you know, or it's already on the field and you can just use it as a tribute for a ritual, you know. You can just go tour guide, summon the Jijin, you know, activate your Shadal, whatever, you know, and then tribute it for Colossalus. Bam, right there. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but the Lava Chain, that kind of sucks because I really like the Lava Chain, especially my Ubel decks, but if that's the route they want to go down, I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, it did put in a lot of work with Infernities, and still, just, maybe they're just like, you know what, you shouldn't be able to be able to have a foolish burial access all the time with your extra deck. Oh, okay. Next, we have Magical X. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This, this is difficult. This is actually kind of difficult to do this. There we go. Magical Explosion. Okay, so I'm assuming you're banning Magical Explosion because of the Chicken Race FTK, but it could still be done. That's that's the problem. You didn't hit Royal. You didn't hit Royal Magical Library. You didn't hit Chicken Race or anything along with those cards. So literally, you can still go ahead and go play all them cards, and then have more than 30 cards in your graveyard, and then just activate Blast in the Ruins. So Magical Explosion wasn't the key card to go ahead and hit. If this is really the list, and they go ahead and hit Magical and ban Magical Explosion, then Chicken Race could still be done with Blast in the Ruins. So. Because, you know, that's the thing is if you have 30 or more cards in your graveyard, it's like 3,000 damage to your opponent. So, by the time you can literally go through your entire deck with Chicken Race, you'll have 30 cards in your graveyard. Just go ahead and go, alright, activate um, Life Equalizer, Blast in the Ruins. So, it's literally the same thing. Like, I talked about this. Magical Explosion is not the correct hit. So, if this is right, then this is the real list. Then, uh, no. So, yeah, these are the three cards that are banned. So... Moving on to the limited, we first have Chaos Emperor Dragon, you know, making his return with the Arata, of course. The only thing I'm suspicious about this is that we don't have an Arata version of it. It's not like it got a reprint or anything. So I guess if they're like, hey, we're going to unban Chaos Emperor with this Arata, and uh, you just use your old versions of Chaos Emperor, and then you just have to have proof of the effects like you did with the other cards, where it's like, yeah, the cards are. Um, are back and you know they have a raw version but you can just go ahead and just you know flash your uh flash your current uh the current effect on your like phone or something so i guess if that's what they want to do i'm not sure so next card we have at one is sir and you know that's no surprise sir is the monster that revives from the graveyard it loops with the dante you know so no surprise there that that would be the card to get hit you know i thought maybe dante the two would be suffice you know not kill a deck but just a little tap sir kind of hurts a lot uh you know just being able to, you know with only one tour guide and one sir it's kind of like i'm not sure but hey that did win you know nat so you know, but they probably had this less planned before that, so yeah. Next, we have at one, uh, the Demok? Yeah, Demok. Like I said, just like with Chaos Emperor, which of course I'm assuming with its Arata, we don't have its Arata form, so I don't know. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. 
Next we have, or looks like graph. Yeah. Damn it, this is really difficult to do. If I click too far, then it goes down too far. So, uh, yeah, graph. So, sir and graph, both to one. Um, Burning Abyss might be dead if this is true. Burning Abyss might be dead. I, uh, with only one, one sir, one graph, one tour guide, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is a little bit extreme. Mm. All right. Next, we have, of course, we have our Necros hit. So, uh, Necros Unicorn called that. Card's going down to one. Understandable. It deserves to be at one. You know, not only for the gen locks, but which you won't be able to do anymore because, you know, uh, the follow chain is banned. But, uh, you know, Unicorn, you know, gets back your Brio. It does a lot of things. It, you know, the Kaleido and everything. So it makes sense. Next card they have hit, which is, I think this is kind of odd, but yeah, Necros of Valkyrie. Interesting. I'm kind of iffy on this one. I never thought that Necros of Valkyrie was really that bad. I mean, it's a glorified Cersei Aircrow at like that. So, you know, that wouldn't be one of the hits I would do. You know, I'd probably put Unicorn to one along with, I mean, I mean, Brio down to one along with the Unicorn, but about to one? Like, hmm. A little bit suspicious. Suspicious. All right. Next, we have Super Region making a return. Um, I don't know. I mean, I get, I know the Dragon Rollers are banned, but, ah, uh, that card is literally just an unhealthy card. Like, it, it deserves to be banned. It definitely deserves to be banned. You know, I guess they're like, hey, no Dragon Rollers are banned. Let's go ahead and bring back Super Regime fight. <laughs> you know, I mean, you didn't get any of the, any sacky FTKs, really. And you could still go ahead and use that with Exodia and draw a crap ton with, you know, like, Blue eyes decks and stuff, but hey, I guess that's what you want to do. Next, we have uh, both, both Mind Crush and Mystic. Now, I was always a pretty big proponent on Mind Crush. Mind Crush is busted. Like that card deserves to be at one, no doubt. Mistake? I was kind of. Uh, I mean, you can't search. I can't search. It's a neg one on activation. You know. It's a trap card that I can MST. I mean, I know that's not you know, a big argument, but at least I can respond to it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if they want to go ahead and put Mistake down to one, hey, more power to them. But Mind Crush, yes, definitely. Mistake, eh. All right. So those are all our limited cards. So not seeing any Star Sheriffs on here. So I guess they're like, eh, they're fine, I guess. All right. So moving on, we got our semi-limit. So our first card semi-limited is Ultair. Okay. So... I was actually sitting there thinking about it, and I'm just like, "Oh, tired to two is not terrible." I've been seeing a ton of people, a ton of ban list predictions. You know, like, "Oh, tired to one." Like, "All right, tired to dead." Like, you can't have only one tired to one tired, but two, it hurts. But okay, okay, and you know, Triv didn't get hit. You know, if they want to go ahead and just hit all tire as their hit, then hey, more power to them. All right, so next they have tour guide. Tour guide going back up to two. Okay, so tour guy goes three, one, two, three. So I guess they're like, you know what? We hit sir, we hit grand, we hit burning abyss. So let's bring back tour guy. Okay, you know I thought you were making more money with burning abyss over tour guide, but hey, if that's what you want to do. So one sir, one graph, two tour guides. Ah, uh, oh, I'm not sure burning abyss. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Next we have to two. We have El Shadal construct. It should be at one. Two is still too many. One. One one construct. You should get one. Two is still way too many. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's not right. One. Sorry. I mean, I still think Trib should be hit. Trib didn't get hit. And you know, construct of two. Like that's a little billion. I get that they're not you know the top top tippity top decks like you know like you know Necros and uh, Burning Bits and Cleaves, but yeah. You know, so construct of two. All right. Dragon Veen backed up to two. That's fine. Uh, I didn't predict it because, you know, it's at one in OCG and it's at one here and I didn't have any precedence to say where it should move to. Or, like, maybe they want to keep that one just because of Dragon, but hey, if they want to move up to two, more power to you. Uh, next, we have two El Shadal Fusions. Uh, two Contract, two El Shadal Fusions, that's not much of a hit at all. Shadals are still really good. Uh, I think that maybe El Shadal Fusion at two Contract at one would be fine, you know. Don't want to hate your Fusions too much, but El Shadal Fusion definitely deserves to be hit. But, you know, with two Construct and two El Shadal Fusions, yeah, you can still do a lot of plays. You can go ahead and El Shadal Fusion that Construct into another Construct and get that El Shadal Fusion back and go ahead and send some more. Yeah, Shadals would still be still stupid, so, eh. Uh, next, we have Monster Gate. No surprise there, predicted that. Uh, this one, this one's kind of like, mm-hmm, okay. Rota, Rota back down to two, so... 
Uh, and this is another hit to Teller Knights, of course, because they have Altera 2 and now Rota at 2, but, you know, still have 3 trips. The deck's not dead, it's just kind of hurt. Uh, mm, you know, I was actually sitting there contemplating, I'm like, you know, well, you know, tr Triple Rota, when we have, you know, Teller Knights, you know, Rota would be a fine hit. When we have, you know, Triple Rota for your Triple Shriet and Necros, you know, when we have, you know, the looping and stupid plays of, um, of, um, uh, what's their deck? Uh, Ignites, you know, Ignites are still stupid, you know, you know, they didn't ban Royal Magical Library, so, you know, they can still have, you know, Ignites being stupid, you know, with Noden coming out. I mean, they banned Blaze Phoenix, but, you know, we still have the whole, um, you know, Refusion, and we still have the whole, uh, uh, what, OTK, the Tempest Magician OTK, so you can still be Saki with it, so, you know, eh, uh, but Rota? I think that's a fine hit, you know, and you know, I play warrior based decks and you know, I was actually contemplating I was like, you know what? No, I'm not surprised, not surprised. And uh the last card semi limited we have is Summoner's Art. That's a fine hit, you know. I was actually thinking I was like, you know what, you can either put Scout down to one or you can put Summoner Art down. I didn't think they were gonna get Summoner Art because of uh uh you know, Ignites, but hey, I didn't think they were gonna hit Rota either. I was contemplating, but I was like, you know, I was weighing, you know, should the correct hit and wearing uh you know, how much money that can make off this deck. So, you know, even before Ignite even come out, they get rotated two and Summoner's Art two, it just lists as real. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Summoner's Art down to two, you know, hit please just a little bit, just a little bit. That's understandable. You know, I probably took it a little bit too extreme by hitting Scout down to one, so Summoner's Art to two, Scout at two. All right. So, at least, you know, if Cleese persists, we have set precedence. We can just go ahead and put Summoner's Art down to one. <laughs> so, there you go. Those are the semi-limited. So, unlimited we have... Honest, no, no, not three honest, definitely not. You know, I get that, you know, it hasn't been used as a late, but honest is just a little naturally unhealthy card. Like, three honest and three charge, and Lightstorms are at full power again. Not that that's really a threat, but uh, just three honest, like, really? Really? Mm mm. Mm mm. Uh uh. You're, you're crazy, you know, but eh. Uh, next, we have. Uh, Scroll down, Sinister Serpent at 3, that's fine, call it that. Charger Light Brigade at 3, so yeah, Light Swarms will be full power, and Sacred Sword. And that's it. So, what do I think about this rumor list? It's not terrible. Uh, Necros probably could have got hit a little bit harder, you know. Unicorn at 1, Valky at 1 is not bad, you know. They still have Triple Manju, Triple Senju, Double Unic I mean, Double Brownie, so I still think that uh, Necros will still be very powerful, even with only one Unicorn and one Valk, that's fine. Uh, you know, especially with cards like Minecraft and Estate getting hit, so. Uh, Burning Abyss, you know, Sir, Graph down to 1, that's a little bit extreme. I, I, you know, Sir, Sir, Graph is there, nah. you know, I think it's a little bit extreme, because Sir kind of loops itself with Dante, so that's understandable, but Graph, then, wow, you know. And then, I guess, putting Tutor Guide back up, eh. Um, Cleese got to hit some of his art down to two, you know. But, you know, lose one turn is still at three, so, you know, I still think Cleese could do something. Like, we just lost one card, so I still think they could do something. Um, Teller Knights, Altair down to two, Rota down to two, that's fine, you know. They still have Triple Construct, they still have Triple Call of the Haunts, Triple Oasis, Triple, you know, of their uh, Counter Trap, so they're totally fine. Uh, Shadows, you know. Construct down to two, and I'll shut off you down to two. I think it's a little bit light. I kind of think that Construct should be at one, just because of how stupid it is. But, you know, they put Construct to two, I'll shut off you down to two. Eh. You know, that deck is still viable as well. Uh, for the future, you still have Saki plays uh, with um, Royal Magical Library, of course. You know, you still have the Chicken Race FTK. Uh, it's different because, you know, Magical Explosion got banned, but, you know, it's different. Uh, the Boys Phoenix FTK is banned, but you can just do the Tempest uh, uh, Magician FTK. So that's still there. Uh, Triple Honest is dumb. You know, you can just go ahead and replace that Altair, you know, with, uh, you know, some Honestness, and you can run Triple Honest and you're telling nice. Doesn't that sound fun? You know, and the Star Seraph engine is still here, so, you know, you can run Triple Honest with the Star Seraph engine with Telenites. Like, mm, nah, no, nah, Telenites are still here. Shadals are still here. You know, Construct only down to two. Like, yeah, you still have your, you know, your Shadal Star Seraph, so, yeah. Um,. Overall, it's not terrible. It makes some adjustments that I don't mind, but it's just not, you know, I'm not blown away. So, if this is really the list, then I will, of course, come back and do another video talking about it again. But, mm, uh, it could be better. It could be better. I give it, like, 
six. <laughs> I, I give it a six. It does some it does some hits that I'm just like, yeah, 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 and then sometimes it's just like really. So there you go. So tell me what you guys think about this rumored list, and uh, still waiting for that TCG ban list. Excited for it, and of course, as soon as it goes up, I will do a video about it. So I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys on the real uh, TCG ban list coming up soon. Hopefully, all right, people. Thanks for watching.